Hello, everybody. This is Lakeisha McKnight, and I want to welcome you to the Leadership TKO Night Show via podcast. Um, Of course, we're a little bit past 9 o'clock. I think it's about 9.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, But again, I thank you so much for being here. Now, of course, you could be listening in from all parts of the world right now, and I appreciate your listenership. Um, I know that there are people, those of you from South Africa and Canada, Australia, the Netherlands, Hong Kong, China, Pakistan, and so many other countries, including throughout the United States, representing and being here because you definitely connect and you you see something through, of course, this podcast that you can relate to and connect to. And so I appreciate you being here. Now, TKO within Leadership TKO, actually stands for Truths That Have Kept the Overcomer. Uh, We're really here. I'm here, of course, to partner with associations, with small businesses and universities to build winning leaders. And so we've been going through many of the truths that lay the foundation for this brand, Leadership TKO. The brand itself is actually parented or housed under a limited liability company entitled the International Leadership Education and Development Company, also known as LMBI. And so you feel feel free to visit the website to learn more about the brand itself and about the company. You can visit www.leadershiptko.com for more information. We have been on a journey. And this journey involves a global women's leadership campaign. Uh, And it started actually months ago, uh, but we're really kicking it up some speed because there are several parts of the campaign. But we're building up um, awareness about this campaign throughout the United States and the world, really. We kicked it off in a big way uh, when we released and actually published a piece of an upcoming book in Thailand, um, actually at the beginning of this month. Actually, March. Let me take that back. March, when we provided a little bit of a snippet of the book in Asia and we actually launched the campaign in full force there. And then we kicked it up a notch as I came back and returned back into the States. And so I definitely want to encourage you to be a part of what we have going on. Uh, We're bringing awareness to women's issues, um, creating solutions around those issues uh, and bringing more awareness to solutions that are already present in here. Uh, We're really seeking to build up leaders amongst the women around the world. But we know that we cannot do this without you. We appreciate you, but we can't do this without you. And so we want to encourage you to connect with the campaign, no matter where you're from. It does not matter. If you speak another language, you need translation, let us know in the comments area. Say, I need translation for Spanish, uh, for Chinese, whatever it is, Japanese. And we will seek to go about getting translation so that you can be a part of what we have going on. Okay, so connect with the campaign by visiting www.borntolead2017.com. And I'm going to spell out this URL or web address so that you can get it. It's www.borntolead2017. So it's going to take you to a questionnaire. Complete the questionnaire and you'll be directed to the Facebook group where the women are located that are connected to the campaign and you're going to be well informed of what we have going on. So feel free to do that. Get connected uh, because we have some wonderful ways in which you can get involved. And I'm going to talk about one of those ways tonight. Can I go ahead and do that right now? You may have seen the title for this episode. Um, It talks about learning more about being a state or country ambassador. So I'm going to go over just a few of these things. Uh, And if you're interested, it's first important for you to join the campaign before jumping on board to be a a state or country ambassador. So be sure to do that first. www.borntolead2017.com. All right. So here's what it means to be a state ambassador. You will be representing your state or your country So, for example, if you are, you know, if you are resident of Jamaica or Haiti, you would represent that entire place there. Okay, not just part of it, the entire. 
Um, and it won't, we, we're seeking, of course, to build teams. So we want a minimum of two people per country or at least per state. Uh, here in the United States, our states are pretty huge. So we want at least a minimum of two per state. Um, and definitely a representative of one person per country. But we would love, of course, if other continents would get involved and uh, represent their continent, but also more specifically the country within their continent. And then we'll take it from there. OK, we'll take it from there and we'll begin to grow from that particular point. But you'll be representing and advocating for women you know, for your state or for your country as it pertains to women's issues that are really global issues for women, such as human sex trafficking, domestic violence, mental health issues, right? Physical health issues like heart disease, um, COPD, uh, all types of other concerns that we face, wage inequality, um, promotion, being overlooked for a promotion, right? Sexual harassment. These particular issues that women face, this is what we want to talk about and bring some awareness to as far as solutions or create some new ones. All right. So definitely um, th this is really what it's all about. And just standing up and being more of an advocate, more of a voice for women in your area. Because some of these concerns, again, are being overlooked and we do not want to do that. OK, we want to bring awareness to what's going on in our communities. And the best way to do this is if we stand together as one and, and definitely bring about some solutions. So and the other piece, the heart of it all, as we discussed yesterday, uh, is really unifying women. Right. Unifying women and addressing concerns on a personal level as well as professionally. You see, we can't get to the heart of women professionally unless we deal with some personal issues. So, of course, we're going to deal with insecurities. We may deal with um, a loss of a self-identity and some of these other concerns that are out there that may be the root of them being hindered, of us being hindered, women, uh, from walking in their purpose and leading as they should. OK, and so we're going to deal with it now. For example, this month, uh, the concern that that normally is addressed in the country of the United States is child abuse and neglect. And so many of you, you may have experienced child abuse and neglect uh, or neglect. So if you've had that experience and you want to share how you've been able to overcome. But and also if you're still struggling because of that experience in your youth, feel free to leave a comment leave a comment. Okay. In the area, just say, you know, leave a comment with an email address and we will get back with you. So in the comments area, provide your email address and we will get back with you in reference to a concern that you want to address regarding child abuse and or neglect. We do not want you to be feel as though you're ignored because you're not. Okay. But that's one of the concerns that we're highlighting for this month, the month of April. Uh, but as a state ambassador, getting back to that, uh, you will be advocating for women, as I mentioned, about some of these major concerns that we face. Um, and of course, if we have events and such, we definitely would love for you to be present, physically present for these events. But if you're in another country and you cannot be there, we definitely would love to get you there by way of video. So we do like some type of video conferencing to get you in there uh, so we can hear from you. All right. Uh, but there are some great perks for being a state ambassador. Uh, we do have ways in which you're able to profit, meaning we have a leadership portal that you'll be able to get access to and market to build up other female leaders that, you know. And so when people register to get access to the training, you're going to get a commission because they registered. All right. So you can get revenue through this campaign. And I know I mentioned this on, on another episode as well. So that's another piece. And, and because you're a state ambassador, your, your commissions rate is going to be a bit higher than a basic member of the campaign. So as an ambassador, your commissions will be about 50 percent instead of the 30 percent. OK. Um, also, when you do come to the events that you're able to attend, we will make time for you to speak in front of the group or in front of the audience, okay? And sharing of your experience, why you're an ambassador, some of the things that you have going on in your state that you're trying to help women with. Uh, and of course, you'll be able to build more stronger partnerships. People are gonna definitely see you as a leader. You're gonna build your influence in so many great ways. 
There may be some people that may ask to, uh, to, to have you to be their coach, or you may be able to build your client base uh, in your tribe as a result of you being an ambassador with this campaign. So these are some great perks that will help you to build your business as well if you are an entrepreneur already, or even if you want to just stand and be a leader and just be a part of what we have going on and you're not an entrepreneur, that's fine as well. But we just have great ways in which you can plug in through being a state ambassador. And again, as I mentioned, we are we're aiming to have a minimum of two, but no more than five women per state in the United States. Uh, But we definitely want a minimum of five women per country. So if you're in another country like Italy or France or Hong Kong or China, we definitely would love for you to be a part. But we don't want there to be just one person representing Asia. (laughs) right? Or representing China. We need more than one person for China. We need more than one person for Japan or for Hong Kong. Okay. These are just some examples I'm just giving you as we're going through this. So we talked about commissions. We talked about influence building, tribe building. Um, We talked about how you'll be able to speak so you get speaking time. Uh, But of course, you're also going to get a raw version of your talk. So when you do come and you address the audience, we're going to give you a raw, unedited um, version of you speaking before the audience. So that's yet another perk. You're going to get that raw, unedited, unedited footage that you'll be able to use for media purposes, for a demo video if you're a speaker. So there are so many great perks for being here. And of course, if people enjoy you and your message, you might actually get booked for more speaking opportunities. So again, I can't stress enough all of the great benefits for being a part. You get revenue. Uh, You perhaps can have more speaking opportunities, build your client base. You just have to do it the right way and be strategic about it. Okay, be strategic, but you also need to plan. So if you want to attend, for example, our May 27th event, I'm going to encourage you to visit the website so that you can learn more. Because if you become a state ambassador and you come to the event, you're going to have speaking time right from the gate, from this very first event. So go ahead and and join the campaign at born to lead 2017.com get in there and you definitely can ask how can i become a state ambassador or a country ambassador and that from that point will give you more information such as the online application link about being a state ambassador or a country ambassador All right. So that's what we're talking about here. That's what we're motivating you to do um, so that you'll be able to learn how to really get in a position. Now, with the online application is not just an easy application. It's not an easy one because we will ask for references. Okay, we will ask for references so that we can consult with them via telephone or email about your professional way of doing things, you know, the way you conduct business, the way that you do things in an organization or at events, because we want to know how well you do things professionally. Okay. Because we have to have great, credible women of integrity that's going to represent this campaign and its mission, because you're representing women all around the world. And we take this seriously. It's not just myself that's leading the campaign. There's also five other women that's leading this thing with me. It's uh, Remy Duye. We also have Cheryl Harris Sutton. We have Maricela Messner. We have Shalia McDaniel, as well as Takara Steele that's leading this campaign. And I'm going to encourage them very soon, of course, to be able to address you by way of them um, actually creating a message that I will upload for you and it will be provided for you. Okay. That way you can hear from them. All right. So again, get connected. I can't stress that more than enough. There are so many great ways to, to really take advantage of being a state ambassador, uh, but also just being connected to the campaign. So step number one, visit www dot born to lead 2017.com and even if you want to learn more about the overall campaign and all of the elements within this campaign you can visit the main primary website for the campaign which is www.leadershiptko4women.com 
But I enjoyed your listenership tonight. Thank you so very much. Thank you for considering to being a state or country ambassador. And I can't wait, of course, to greet you inside of our campaign group right there on Facebook. I encourage you to like this episode. Like it on Spreaker because that's where we're airing this from. Like, of course, this episode. Leave a comment. Join us inside of the Facebook group by way of going to that website, borntolead2017.com. And we can't wait, of course, to greet you in person really soon at one of our events that we're having this year. One or more. Okay. So we're going to be back, of course, on tomorrow because, again, we're doing this campaign Monday through Friday. That's where we're going to be Monday through Friday uh, from, you know, definitely from 9 p.m. Most times, of course, we'll be here for about 15 minutes to a half hour. Okay, so that's just our duration, our normal duration. So, again, thank you so much for being here. Until then, remember to think, speak and live leadership.